Our next guest was recommended to us by one of our staff members. He's a local author and so much more. Rob Johnston also did all of the illustrations for this first book, The Woodcutter and the Most Beautiful Tree. The 2002 Rockford High School grad will hold his first book signing this weekend, and he's here with us today. Welcome. All right, thank you. And, and should we say congratulations? Yes, this I would say. Quite a feat. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this book and how it came to be. Um, yeah, it was just a really fun project. It started uh, when I was teaching English in Japan, uh, right after graduating from Michigan State. Yay. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those um, yeah, I was just uh, teaching a lot of kids' classes, and I noticed that uh, some of the books that we had the kids working with were the children's books that I'd grown up with here in, in Michigan, like Where the Wild Things Are, The Giving right. Tree, mm -hmm. and a lot of Dr. Seuss, and um, just the idea that uh, these books that I had grown up with had, you know, just kind of went around the world so that kids everywhere were kind of becoming a part of that world. Uh, and I was really excited about maybe trying my own hand and kind of putting myself out there. And mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about the book? What, what's the story about? Um, it's about uh, the woodcutter and the most beautiful tree. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a, a dialogue that goes through the four seasons. Um, each uh -huh. season, the woodcutter, uh -huh. you know, he finds this most beautiful tree, sure. and he's ready to do what a woodcutter does, but um, then she starts talking to him, and using some kind of clever wit and a little generosity, she's able to kind of, you know, uh, have him put the axe aside and uh, offer him something else. Mm -hmm. So he comes back the next season, same thing happens, and through spring, summer, and fall, she's able to just kind of offer him something else. But in winter, a tree really doesn't have much to offer someone <laughs> <laughs> looking to chop them down. So that's where the, the story really kind of comes together, and okay. it ends with a little bit of a, a twist. But this is a really special book because you wrote it. You did all of these beautiful illustrations we're seeing, yeah. and you published this yourself. Yeah. I mean, that's a little unique, I mean, to be the writer and the illustrator alone. Yeah. Um, most... Uh, Mainstream publishers, the larger publishing houses, uh, they'll love to take a story from an author and then they have their own illustrators that they have relationships with that they'd like to work with. So they'll take that story and match it up with an illustrator. If you have done uh, all the illustration and wrote the story yourself, it puts you in a bit of a unique position right. because th they need to take the whole package from you. And so um, last year I did what everyone does, you know, sending out uh, query letters and trying to shop it out to different publishers and agents. And then I spent about three or four months getting rejection after rejection back in the uh, mail. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a little frustrating, but I, I, I felt like I had a good story worth telling, worth getting out there. So um, a few months ago, I just decided to, to, to go do it myself. It. Yeah, just right. to go it alone. And one of the ways you're getting out there, you're doing a book signing uh, this coming weekend? Yeah, this Saturday from about 9 to noon at Herman's Boy in Rockford. Mm -hmm. So a really cool coffee shop, really cool venue. They've been really supportive. That is really cool. So people can come and they can meet you, they can buy the book, and you know have you sign it. Yeah. If people are not able to attend your book signing on Saturday, uh -huh. how else can they get their hands on it? Uh, they can go to my website. Um, it's robnjohnston.com. So a friend from Rockford High School <laughs> that I've you know, stayed friends with, he uh, set it up for me, so uh, should be able to get the book there. Well, fantastic. This is the first book. Now, are you going to have a series of books that you have planned? Or? Um, yeah, ideas are always kind of clicking. Mm -hmm. um, just trying to, to find that idea that kind of jumps out at me. Sure. Yeah. Ha have you have one in the process right now, or um, you're waiting for that perfect idea? Yeah, just kind of waiting for that idea, really. <laughs> sure. <laughs> That's wonderful. Well, congratulations to you, Rob. Thank you so much. You have done a beautiful job. I've been able to look at this book. It is amazing, it is. and it would be wonderful for any child. You said it's kind of like early elementary, you know, or elementary age would be a great age group for children. For yeah, that. they should be able to read it. Um, yeah, elementary age, but uh, it's it's kind of meant to be read to children of all ages. Mm -hmm. um, that that was really kind of the focus when I was writing it. Wow, really cool. cool. All right, well, come check it out on Saturday. And wonderful opportunity. Thanks Thank for coming on Eight West. Thank you very Thanks, much, Rob. We'll Stay be with right us. back. We're right back. Are you West?